Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam Cuban. I have a huge unboxing from the cubicle right here. Uh, first of all, let's get the elephant out of the room. I'm not in Tennessee right now. I'm actually in Indiana visiting my grandparents. So I had to kind of wiggle around to get some time here. But anyways, let's get into the unboxing. So yeah, enjoy. So I switched camera angles and this stuff is all over here. I decided to start with the Super RS 3M. Oh, I need my scissors, let's see. Don't know, oh, they're right here, under the cheeky clock. It's my first Super RS 3M and I have another one, but it's just a different version. So I'm quite excited for this. So let's see what you get with the accessories real quick. I imagine it's just a standard Moe thing, kind of. Yeah, so we get some cards to just show you kind of how to use it and how to solve it. And then I also get a screwdriver, a dual adjustment thing, and a dual adjustment tool, which it looks like they made the dual adjustment system. The elasticity thing turns per purple now, which is really cool. And then we get a stand. So let's get into the cube. So it's very similar to a normal RS3M. So let's get into some first turns. It's very interesting. It's very dry out of the box, obviously, and it kind of has that new cube feel, just like the swishiness, kind of. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, I like it. Let's just see if the actual things in here are purple. Yes, they are. That's awesome. I love it. I don't think this will end up being my main, but I definitely will set this up and just see how it ends up doing. I'm already liking it pretty pretty well out of the box. It's not set up, obviously, but it is pretty good. Try corner cutting. Can't quite do 45. It might be, most of our streams are on pretty tight tensions, as you can see. But, yeah. I think we're going to move on from this. To the RS3M 2020. I'm pretty sure the accessories box is basically just the exact same thing, so I'm not going to open it. And we get a stand also. Like I said, these are on very tight tensions. I honestly don't know which one I like better. This one feels like the 2022 version definitely feels more reliable. While this one just kind of feels more fast and fluid, which I do really like. But I do really like how uh, reassuring this feels. Like I'm definitely more prone to locking up on this one. And I do like about this one though that it does have a removable logo. Whereas this one has a printed on logo. But I do like this logo a bit more. So it's kind of whatever. So yeah, these are both decent speed cubes. Um, let's just go ahead and get the mini cube over with. I mean, there's probably nothing special to it. It's probably just a mini cube. And just at first glance, this does not look like a chi cube because supposedly a chi cube, but this is not look like a chi cube. This looks more like a mo cube. I mean, it, it, it kind of turns, kind of. See if we can do an algorithm on it. Let's try a simple j -perm here. And really struggling. There are a lot of mini cubes that turn a lot better than this. This one is a dollar, but there are some two and three dollar ones that are a lot better. That even just spending the extra two or three dollars, you will appreciate. So I guess we should just move on. Let's go ahead and get into, let's do the chi clock. I'm really excited for this one. So it looks like we get the clock as well as a stand. 
with some cards and I guess manuals and stuff. Don't know if there's anything under this. Let's see. Nope. So let's get into the clock. Let's just compare it to the Shangsha clock. So this clock is obviously more broken and I have thousands of saws on this one done with zero on this one done. I can definitely tell that this one is a lot faster though. It's very slow out of the box, but I'm sure it will speed up with break-in probably. Yeah. I still like the shank shot a bit more as of right now. It's just more broken in. I've lubed it. But with some break-in, this should get very good. I'm sure of it. As of right now, it seems like a pretty good speed cube. But, yeah. Let's just try to solve, I guess. Just a wind scramble, because it's a clock. Okay, that definitely was one of the easier scrambles. As you can see, I got a mid-eight. Let's just see how long this video is so far. Eight minutes. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, it's whatever though. Um, let's go ahead and get onto a different cube. Let's do, let's do one of the main three by threes. Oh yeah, I gotta get something. Okay, I do not know what tensions these are on, but I can already say it does feel pretty good. The core magnets definitely help with the turning quite a bit. Just trying some algs on it, even with uneven tensions, this already does feel quite good. I'll be honest, I don't know if the Luke Super R3M and the Huaming Y3M will be able to stand up to this, but we will have to see. I'm really liking this so far. It's pretty good, but let's get on to a different cube. Let's go ahead and check out the 6x6, actually. Get some accessories. A card in the cube and I guess a cubicle stand. So that's awesome. Okay, so we have the cube. Let's first of all compare it to the MDC. First of all, there's a massive size difference. This cube is a lot smaller, this new one. And I do like the shades quite a bit better. I like the the green is the main difference. The oranges are a bit different, but the green is the, just the main difference. Uh, I forgot to mention this is the Angstrom version. So this is set up. So let's go ahead and try it. Okay, I'm already noticing that these inner layer magnets are very, very strong. Second layers are, like these are some very, very strong magnets. Like I thought the NGCs were sh sort of strong. This cube has very strong magnets, so it will take a while to get used to that, as well as the smaller size. Let's go ahead and try some parity outs. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of breaking in, but I'm sure it will be good. I am in the process of switching to Yao on 6x6, so I haven't been averaging the same that I was with Redux. I was averaging around 3 minutes with Redux, and I'm averaging around 3.30 with Yao. But it's okay. I'm just going to try to keep improving. And maybe this cube will help that switch. I can't tell if there's a loose magnet in here. Or if it, all the, or if it just clicks like that normal. Because it does not do that for the MGC. Seems to be that for all the layers though. So that's interesting. Yeah, I definitely will have to get used to this. Smaller size especially. But already this is pretty good. 
But yeah, let's get on to one of these two by threes. Let's check out Luke's Super RS3. How about that? Kind of cluttered with cubes right now, but it's a good thing. Another one of these. This is what the fifth one, fourth one here. Yeah, that's absurd. But anyways, we have the cube and then the cubicle stand. I'm not going to open either of those because I kind of already know what's in there. So this cube has ball core and maglev in it, which something, I mean, my one-handed man has maglev in it, but this is the one of the first cubes that I've ever had that has a mag magnetic core. Crap, this is not coming open. So I believe this was lubed with Angstrom Dignitas and Silk. This is already pretty heavy, as I can tell, and we have the nice Luke logo, so that's pretty nice. Let's get into first turn, so. It's very heavy. Oh my gosh, this is slow as heck. Oh my gosh. This is so slow. I don't get how this man deals with it. Obviously, it needs a break in, but this is so slow. This, this is one-handed, man. I can't even, like, turn this thing one-handed. Let's see what, like, setting he has it on. So he has it on, like, one of the highest clicks, but the tensions do seem to be pretty loose. So, yeah, let's just take an edge out and look at the ball core. Oh, my hands are covered in loot now. Yeah, there is a gold ball core, core in there, which is very, very cool. Okay, yeah, this is very, very slow, but I will have to break this in and just see how things go. Yeah, let's get on to the regular Huamang YS3M because the other Huamang YS3M is probably the puzzle in this unboxing that I'm actually most excited for. So that should be quite a bit of fun. How long is this going to run for? Five, yikes. This is going to be a long video, but I will try to make some cuts here and there. Okay, so we have a, because this is the cube de designed by Yu Shang Du, so we have a card. Then we have a pan, an accessory box, which this one's a bit different. I just kind of want to see what's in here. Some tensioning tools, a screwdriver, nothing big. And then we have the cube. How do cube companies get their boxes so, like, hard to open? Like, this is just ridiculous. No, you... no hard feelings, but this is just ridiculous. Just go ahead and get this out. Let's see how the DQ feels. Yeah, tensions are quite tight out of the box. This is just the standard, I believe. So no maglev, no ball core. But yeah, it's pretty good. Now the Huamang YS3M with magic clothes. Or just UV coating, kind of. Get this open. Oh no, I ripped the box. No. Dang it. Okay, let's get into this. Got the card, the cube, the whatever. Let's just get into the cube. Okay. Oh my gosh, this UV coating feels so good. Dude, this feels amazing. I can't say instant name, but this UV coating is already almost selling it for me. Bro. 
This is amazing. I don't get how they do UV coating, but it's amazing. So we have these, and then this one does have a ball core. So we have the core magnets and then the ball core, which is just awesome. So, yeah, let's try corner cutting. Great, yeah. Hesitating a bit past 45, but this is just amazing. Oh my gosh. I love this. I was feeling a bit hesitant going into this. Like, I didn't know how much I'd like this cube. But just the UV coating, man, is amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to set these up and see how they do. I'm just having so much joy turning this. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to clean up this mess and then I'll do the outro. Sorry if this is a bit of a mess, but thanks for watching. I'm really happy with all of these new cubes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bit long, but it's whatever. I'm going to go practice. I'll make reviews on these soon. Bye.